take a load off. So this is, these are the collectibles. Like this is an egg for these people. That, that you could probably only get here. Yeah. I'm willing to get It's one. interesting that all the guys are wearing their costumes and all the girls are in uh, bikinis. Right. I mean, you know how this works. Yeah. Cammy's already sold out. Oh, it says that? Yeah, and that's $600. I and mean, that is $600. Nah, bro. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, you went arena. to DreamHack. But I, that's but usually that's, how that's they look. Dream. That's usually how they look. Though. Right, right, I get it. But like this, you never been to anything dedicated. dedicated. you in this punch you're not allowed to pick them again or I will fight you first. so we just finished up our two-hour stream it was a lot of fun everybody who was there you got to see it look up like it's good I'll be sure to tell y'all where we're at in the comments I don't know exactly where I am right now I'm kind of coming off of a, a train ride but yeah we're about to go mess with Jeremy Vicious and we're about to Congratulate him on a great job commentating today. Like, wow. His voice was all in the game. All in the game, too. Like, not only here at the Capcom, like the Capcom Cup, but also in the Street Fighter 6 game. That is such an honor. That's so cool. Capcom Cup day one. Our day one. And we're gonna see how much we can catch of Capcom before we do our other event. But right now we're picking up the essentials so I can actually stream. I'm very happy that people showed up today for our stream, even though I told them I wasn't. So thank y'all. Well, thank y'all for coming to the stream. Thank you. But yes, we're here. It's the second day of Street Fighter League, and the World Championship ends today. So this is for 2022, and then we'll be back for 2023 at the end of next year, or the beginning of next year, I'm assuming. So, yeah, yeah, so let's go in and see we're what's changed. Let's see if anything's happen. changed, and then we'll Yeah. Go. So as you can see, they added more here. It looks like you can get your own fitted cap. Jeremy's got a clean got fit on. Yeah, he's got his fit Look on. at his clean fit. Look at his he clean looks good. fit. He looks good. Like the neck, all the yeah. suit, it looks good. Are you holding up there up in the booth? It's doing all right, man. I mean, uh, it's it's hard to call the action because I'm like a fan of every team. Right? I'm trying to show no bias on Femi up there. He's been good. Yeah, you can run when it's coming. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm going to sing with you. But <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's hard to call. It's so intense. I kept myself for a little bit of like, yeah. I forget that. It's 
<laughs> I feel you. No, we were going off a base of who's closer to America. So it's EU. But I had the feel for Fugera in that moment, especially from Japan. I was like, man, this is a lot of pressure. That was a, that was a hard match for me to watch. I was like, if that was me, I'd be like, oh, I'm done. But he kept coming back. Instead of behind him, Fugera has played almost a backlist of the entirety of like group stage. Even in like world championships right now, but we literally did not get to see Shaq play once. Even wow. in Street Fighter League EU, I think in total he's only played four matches in a matter of like three to four months. So him coming back in oh. this way, taking down one of the most prestigious players in that fashion, it was pretty convincing. Right. That was that was nothing. You no, know? that was nothing. So we just watched UYU bring in another win for the team. Luke is clearly the counter to Rashid if you right. play it like that. Rashid has been rocking everybody's shit. Like everybody. But Luke made it look easy. It was kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it was embarrassing a little bit. I'm going to be real. Like Rashid would go in. I remember seeing Rashid do his super or his ultimate. Brought him all the way up to the top of the screen. But Luke came in and just got him with one light like, hook. And it was curtain. It's crazy, right? It was crazy. nuts. So we're here with Brian F. Oh, hello. Hi, hey. I'm Chelsea Bites, and I am a noob to Street Fighter. Okay. So okay. I just want to ask you. real quick. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> so you just, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Were you just on Crown? I, this is me asking. I was. You were, and yes. you were on with Sonic Fox. Yes, I was. So that's my home base. I, that's okay. cool. We saw y'all. Awesome. What y'all were doing was really lit. Y'all were going through all the different fighting games. I was y'all did more. Gosh, it was terrible. Oh, I mean, was hey, awful. I would not have fared halfway like you did. I think you would have actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. Literally, he beat me with his eyes closed. No, 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 no. They no. so I won the events, uh, but yeah, it you was were a amazing. Beat down. You Thank were you. my, you, you were my winner. You, but I gotta ask real quick. So between Street Fighter Five and Street Fighter Six, what? What is Street Fighter 6 gonna bring that like Street Fighter 5 just can't? The number one thing is just having like an overall video game package. Because mm -hmm. Street Fighter 5, like it, it's still its reputation is still hurt by its terrible release. So it came out like out of the oven two years too early and had no single player content. And I think Street Fighter 5, the game is amazing, but Street Fighter 6 has like a full flesh like single player mode, character creation, social features. So there's, there's a lot more ways to have fun with the game so that people who aren't just the hardcore audience will have a lot of ways to have fun and then from that more people will slowly start to get into the competitive side of things so Street Fighter 5 I think it's an amazing competitive game but didn't have enough for the general audience so Street Fighter 6 that's the number one thing I'm loving about the game is that I think all gamers will enjoy it, not just fighting game fans. Exactly. Hi everybody, we're here with Curious Joy, yeah. who was invited to watch. Yeah. How are you feeling about this competition so far? I love Street Fighter. I'm born and raised player. So like just being around the environment and having something dedicated to Street Fighter is just something I always say automatic yes to. I know you said that you're not really rude for anybody, but who's impressed you so far? Like which character have you seen that's like I really mean, anything? The, the beautiful thing about Street Fighter is that you see so many different kinds of characters versus like always seeing the same top like eight people over and over again so I didn't even know that Doggero would play Bison and I was just like maybe I haven't been following him that much but I was like all right cool let's have Bison on here that's awesome yeah this is and then more Luke more Luke more yes, Luke more you know our Street Fighter 6 protagonist it's been pretty impressive so what's your favorite thing about Street Fighter 6 Street Fighter 6 what I love other than the fact that it's kind of bringing back the foot aspect of fighting games is that they're making it accessible for people that don't even play fighting games. They have classic control, I mean, no, modern controls, and then they have a dynamic control, which were, you can't play online, obviously, because it's like cheating. But you can like button mash and you can get away with it. They have the single player mode, that so you can go off and do mini games and do all that stuff like that. They're just doing, doing such amazing stuff. And I love the lobby and the custom characters. During the beta, there are some wild ones, but I like that. <laughs> So hi everybody, we're here with Steve, but you gotta give me the full handle. Uh, yeah, infinite underscore SGE, you can find me on all platforms. There you uh, go. Uh, I'm kind of a, you know, uh, nobody, I'm actually nobody. No. Sure, sure, yeah, he's gonna claim that he's a he's nobody. He's on your video games. Oh, what's that? I have to ask, since you seem to be a Street Fighter connoisseur, what is it that Street Fighter V does not bring like Street Fighter VI does? Uh, okay, the mechanics are completely different. Uh, the uh, graphics are absolutely amazing. 
a lot of different from uh, Street Fighter V, and um, the characters is what I'm really going for as well. So we'll see what I, I actually run into and what I actually like. But um, I think Street Fighter VI is going to change the game, change the entire industry. So just like what Street Fighter II did, Street Fighter VI is going to do that for the next generation. So. Is there a player that's standing out to you right now, even though it's pretty early to say? Uh, a player or a character? Either one. Okay, yeah, so as, as far as a character is concerned, watch out for Zangief. We have been playing the beta for a very long time and we have been enjoying ourselves because the beta did not have that character in it. When Z when Dalsum shows up, when Zangief shows up, we're not going to have any more fun. People like him are going to be playing those characters and murdering everybody in their path. We are just going to be standing there, we're just drop our controllers, let it happen. Who was your first one-on-one? -on -one? Like, who did you fight first with Street Fighter since? Uh, I played against uh, my friend Kenny, and uh, he's from Yo! Video Games. We ended up playing, uh, I think he played um, Jamie, and I ended up with my boy, Ryu. Gotta, have, sorry, gotta get my boy. And uh, I just, you know, just ran ran all through, all up in him. Just tore up, uh, completely <laughs> annihilated everybody. But I started learning, and I started figuring things out. Then Max came in and completely did what I did to him to me, and then I cried in the corner. It was, well, uh, yeah, that it was, would make me cry as well. It was very I, sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I gotta ask now, who's your favorite character to play? Is it still? It's still Ryu. Still Ryu is my boy. It's my boy. Um, but I'm setting my sights on uh, Kim. I see some crazy stuff with her. She kind of seemed a little broken, <laughs> but it's fine. I'll, I'll mess with her a little bit. And then uh, Max was doing the stuff to me with his Ken. Uh, it, it made me sad inside. So you know, if you can't beat him, join him. There you go. I'm gonna have you give us your handle. Hi, everybody. We got another creator and fighting game enthusiast here. Yeah, my name is Rob TV, Hollywood Rob TV, depending on who you ask. I did hear that your name was Hollywood, and you do look kind of Hollywood. I love that. I appreciate that. you. It's a little bit awkward now because I moved to Los Angeles recently, so I live in Hollywood. I never would have called myself that if I live here. Now it's a little weird. It's like, why you when you me? when you start getting a little big, you know, people start calling you Hollywood. Anyway. You know, that that's pretty much how I got the name and everything. But right? yeah, right? that pumpkin been fire so far. It has been. It's been absolutely nuts. So. I'm gonna hit you with a hard one. Who's your favorite commentator? My favorite commentator. Oh my gosh. My favorite commentator is actually, he's actually not even here right now. My boy IFC Yipes. Yipes is my favorite. That's absolutely the GOAT of all the commentary as far as I'm concerned. So shout out to my boy Yipes. He's hype as hell. And as far as out of the people here, oh damn, that's kinda that's kinda rude if I said I'd be real. So I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> so who's your favorite character in Street Fighter 6? My, my favorite Street Fighter 6 character right now, ooh, I gotta say probably Jamie. Yes. And you know why? Because I feel like Jamie, he actually got sauce. That's what I like about the game in general. The moment you said Jamie, I said of course. See? That's what I'm saying. Uh, Jamie actually got energy, yo. Like, like his, he know how to dress. You know what I'm saying? My man's in shape. He lean and all that. Yep. Got the hair going on and everything. Uh -huh. Crippling alcoholism. Cool. Yeah, I feel that. Even the alcoholism. <laughs> hey, Eminem got worse after he stopped doing drugs. You right. You, you right. know what I'm saying? You right. There's, look, I'm happy for him, but in the end of the day, it's true. Some people sometimes, just better on the song. Sometimes it go like that. A lot of our favorite musicians. My man Jamie just like that. You right. Dang, I can learn something today. Thank you so much for letting us take time from you. I really appreciate yo, it. Yo, I rock with you. you actually fire as fuck. Oh we, should, we should collab on something. Come on, Hollywood, Hollywood. Yeah, serious though. Yeah, no, yeah we gotta collab on something. I'll find you. It's All not right. hard to find you. Alright, yeah, let me know. <laughs> it ain't hard to find me. Let me know. Seriously though. No. Alright, y'all. We're gonna catch this next round because we've been missing this stuff. Alright. See y'all on the other end. I can't believe it went down that way, but guys, that was the Street Fighter League World Championship, the first one ever. Here at the Capcom Cup. Absolutely, Capcom Cup is ending tomorrow, so you should check that out, at least the results. I know this video is coming out later than that, but it was so much fun. We met so many people from the fighting game community. 
and you might catch us at another fighting game event. So stay here, check us out. Here at Chelsea Bites on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and all those other platforms. And thank you for watching.